Hey guys, this is Accounting Nightmare, and we're back to Lucia's missions in Devil May Cry 2. Haven't gotten very far with her yet, we're up to her mission 3. And there's her loading screen. So these are all repeated cutscenes. This is just the one where she turns around and she sees that Dante standing there. There is one new cutscene here, though. Did you obtain the other Arcanus, my dear? Here is the bastone. Now we have only one piece remaining. I believe that it is in the ruin. I know. Oh, his accents. Mission 3. She has many arms but only one heart as she waits for the protector deep in the water. Hey, that sounds familiar. Hmm. Let's, get, uh, let's upgrade throwing daggers because they're quite handy. Won't worry about the darts. <laughs> Probably won't be using those. And some health and some trigger. Alright, this may look familiar. This is Dante's mission 3 so far. You can go over there and you fight those enemies, but there's no blue orbs or anything over there, so we won't worry about it. We'll continue on this way. Those things have a mouth on their belly. Ooh. This looks a bit familiar. <laughs> so in the cutscene they were talking about the Arcanas. They're trying to collect them all. There's four of them. Not really sure why they're collecting them all. I think it's to stop Arius from getting them. But they've actually got three. This guy's exactly the same as before. Got his annoying bit buddies. Ah, and he's dead. And now his little underlings will disappear. Hmm. And now to fight Oranguera! No, actually, we don't fight Oranguera. We don't have to come in here. But if we do. We get a new weapon, Cliamore, swords for Lucia that have wide range. So I'll, I'll say it now, you might be wondering if Ifrit or any other form of Ifrit is in this game. No, I'm sorry. It's not. The only melee weapons you get are pretty much the same as what you've already got. They've just got slightly different stats. See these are longer, more range, a little bit less damage. We'll switch to them for a little bit. But their combos are exactly the same, see? So that's one of the big bummers about this game. There's no weapon switching for fun. In the first one, Ifrit was completely different from Alastor. So now we're in Dante's Mission 4. Ah, oh, remember these platforms? Remember? There's nothing there? Now there's a blue orb. Actually, a full blue orb. How nice. Orb. And we'll continue down here. And some mysterious. I'll kill one of them. Oops, where'd he go? Yeah. Now those ledges up there, I'm not sure why they're there. Because even for Lucia, there's nothing up here. Pretty strange. Maybe they were gonna put something there and then they forgot. Do a little bit of killing here for fun. Good lord, there's a lot of them. Oh, we'll trigger. I think the ones from the other spawn point followed me, that's why there's so many of them. 
you get back far enough though, that should stop following me. Finish this one off. Alright, now. Guess what? Yeah, you can ignore the targeting system. This was posted in the thread by Igazman. Igazman, thank you. You are my hero. I love you. So you hold the R2 button to completely ignore targeting. See? Isn't that awesome? That is so awesome. That has made my day. I knew you could do it. I saw it in videos and I couldn't figure out how to do it. And there's one here for Lucia as well. Well, you might be wondering if this is leading to where it did for Dante. Well, you'll we'll see. But you can go straight through there now. But we don't want to because we'll be skipping some stuff if we do that. First of all, Red Orb Fountain. Everyone loves Red Orbs. Why pass them up, eh? There's no secret mission here for Lucia. See? Can't go in. She does have some secret rooms in this mission, though. We'll get to them pretty soon. So this is where Dante got the quick heart. But this time around, there's no switch there. We don't need to hit a switch, we can just run through. Oop, grab that red orb. Yeah. So is there anything in here for Lucia? We shall find out. Well, aside from them, it's a secret room. That one is really weirdly hidden. I'm not sure how you're supposed to find that one. Oh, pyromancers. Fodder. Upgraded daggers do a little bit more damage now. So as you can see, my combos are all exactly the same, even though I'm using a new melee weapon. I've just got a bit more reach. And your melee weapon does absolutely nothing to your Devil Trigger form. It doesn't change it. Like in the other Devil Maker eyes. Got a few of them now, aren't there? Uh, we're pretty safe from the Pyromancers as long as we're not close to them. It's just the uh, Auromancers. Stop teleporting, you assholes. Dagger you to death. Lucia's trigger form is actually pretty fast. Oops, I shouldn't have de-triggered then. I decided to save my trigger and that was a bad idea. I get full trigger anyway at the end, so I might as well trigger. I keep forgetting. About the health refills. One guy left. You can stop Lucia. Good. <laughs> she gets a bit carried away. I wasn't pressing any buttons there. Oh, more health. That's looking much better. We're starting to catch up to Dante. Alright. Now, I think we do have to kill these guys still. Yep, the door's locked. Also, Lucia has a cool little um, spinning kick move. I'll try to do that here. Oh, you didn't see it very well. But you have to attack right as you hit the ground. Whoops, went out the door. We have to kill them all over again now. I wonder if it does anything different in trigger form. No. Nah. You got a good view of it there though, it's I'm not really sure what it's good for, it's not all that powerful. It's just for good looks, I suppose. Like a lot of things in this game. A lot of moves that are that look alright but have um, questionable use. <laughs> That's a trigger. I think we're getting a trigger refill soon anyway, so. Alright, kill you, even though you're nice and pretty. Don't want to go near the door. 
Okay, we'll let him move away from the door and we'll kill his friend instead. Oh. I wanted to dodge. Couldn't dodge in time. The trigger refills pretty quickly in this game. Alright. We've cleaned up. Now let's see what's up here for Lucia. Healing heart. Heart of a merciful goddess. Oh, that's nice, isn't it? Nothing up here. Oh, a red orb. That's good. Healing heart. Let's have a look. I'm quite fond of the healing heart. So we've got all three rows for Lucia now. It's actually three per row now we get to collect. But it increases our healing in Devil Trigger form. Very useful. is. Alright, now we'll get to continue on with the mission. Actually, no, I lied. There's something we have to do before we go to end the mission. You'll see that in a second. So Lucia gets the quick heart as well, but she gets it much later in the game. Health. And guess what's up here? Nope, not a blue orb fragment. A secret room! That's a really weird place for a secret room. Lucia's secret rooms are really weird spots. And again, some of Dante's are in strange spots, but they're usually just in little doors. Or well, Lucia's are in strange, weird little corners and stuff. Can't get me off ya. I'm gonna kill ya. trigger for this last bit because I really don't want him to get away and annoy me. Got him. Wonder what wave two is going to be. Hopefully not a whole bunch of these things because that would be quite dull. These things also poison you too, as you may have noticed. Poison isn't really anything you need to worry about though. It wears off really quick. It doesn't do much damage. Uh, I should just aerial heart them. Alright. Yep, four of them. Ugh. Good lord. Alright, fast forwarding. <laughs> God, I still haven't even killed one. Oh my god, this is stupid. Finally, we're down to just one. These golems are horrible, honestly. Especially when they trigger. No! Oh! See, I can't target him. Oh, thank god. That time you all died. Well, at least we get a blue orb fragment. Grab those orbs and we're out of here. Alright. You probably have a question on your mind right now. I'm going to answer it.
yes, Lucia does fight the exact same boss. In the exact same way. In the exact same place. There's something I didn't show off in my Dante videos. This is a safe spot you can stand in. See? And you can just stand here. Isn't that easy? Though when it makes a shield, it will knock you back, so you're not entirely safe. But you're mostly safe. This might be a good time to show off some of Lucia's uh, special abilities. I mentioned that Dante has the Desperation Devil Trigger, whereas Lucia does not. I think it's going to make a shield. So to make up for that, Lucia has some special abilities she can do in Devil Trigger form. I might go do one. That mostly missed. But it can be pretty dangerous in the right circumstances. You have to hit attack and shoot at the exact same time. I'll do her other one, it's not it won't be very effective in this part, but I'll show it off. This one's done on the ground. Oh, killed the tentacle. That's about all it did really. <laughs> They're really nice if you use them against the right targets. And the rest of this battle is stuff you've already seen. So I'm going to fast forward nearly this entire fight, unfortunately. And I'll probably give you some um, inappropriate music too. I'll see if switching my sword back will increase my damage in trigger form. Back to the cutlass here. And that seemed to do the trick. Come on, die. Yeah. And Lucia goes out that door instead. Grab these red orbs. Any more? Nope. Okay. Alright. Oh. Capcom, why do you hate me? Next mission. Next mission is kind of like Dante's Mission 5, only much, much shorter. So please join me next time.